Hi guys, how's it all going? Um, I'm still really ill, but these biscuit recipes are so simple. I thought even I can't screw them up, even in this state. So, let's give it a go. I'm doing the Weetabix ginger biscuits and the oat ones. I'm going to do hazelnut chocolate, which is two things, and cinnamon. But I didn't have uh, ground cinnamon. I'll show you. I'll move it down there and I'll move it back up. Uh, I, uh, I thought I'd get a bit more prepared this time so you won't see me doing anything. So with the wheat mix, you need two of them and just ground them up into a fine powder. I don't have a food processor, <coughs> so I just use this big spoon. Yeah, talking is not my forte at the moment. Sorry. So it says... You see, I'm doing the ginger biscuits for these because I thought it'd go better with the wheat mix than the oats. I thought the chocolate would go better. So you need two, two tablespoons of ground ginger. That's a lot. That is a lot of ginger. We'll try it. Never mind. I didn't make the recipe. Somebody else did. Come on. But yeah, they're, they're like so simple because that's it. Just that. Fine powder, add sweetener, and I need the wheat bits one five tablespoons. The tablespoon's a big one. That's a lot of sweetener as well. Do you think it'll need five? Two, three. That's a lot. Four. Five. That is, that is that's a lot of sweetener. Ginger, one egg, and milk. Really? 90ml of milk. Sorry, I completely knackered myself up, I think. I thought we were only milk in the... Nope. Milk in. Egg in. And then we mix this up. That looks... Uh, Super, super, super gross, as you can see. Oh, yeah. That's really wet. Is it supposed to be that wet? I've never seen them being made. I really need to start doing that. I say it every time now. Like, I need to see them being made. And you need the oven on 180. And it says 5 to 10 minutes. And these are six things for the lot. Because it classes as your healthy bee. That's really wet. Hang <laughs> on. Two wee bits, yeah. Five tablespoons of sweetener, yeah. Two cinnamon, yeah. One egg, 90 ml of milk. That's it. Put it sweet a bit, fine powder, add sweetener, add cinnamon, well, I'll give ginger. Mix egg plus milk, section out. That's literally it. It's maybe fine with it. Like the more, the more it sits, like the wee bits of, I don't know, I think I've messed this up. But they were so simple, how could I? Right, we'll leave that to do something. I need a thing. Oh no. I have a thing. Right, the oat ones. 35 grams of oats, which is these oats. I think they're about 90p from Asda. You get loads. So 35 grams of oats. One egg, which I'm going to have to strain through. Didn't think this through again. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> I am terrible. How can I pick all this bark out? I should not want bark in your biscuits, do you? Should I just not use cinnamon? <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work as well as I thought it was going to. Oh no. Yeah, no, we'll just do chocolate ones. I have another egg. Pretty sure I have already. I am just a muppet. 
Right, let's do it like that. Don't want to hold it because some of it did go in. I shouldn't be allowed to do things when I'm falling. Right, egg, there we go. Sorry about this. We'll see if it works. Right, chocolate. We'll just make chocolate ones. No cinnamon. I can't function. How's everyone doing? Are you all good? I hope so. Are you feeling better than me? Because I do not feel good at all. Another 90 mils of milk. Which I have a little marker inside this cup that I put in from last time. And that's that. That one, I think this one, the oat one, is going to work better than the... Oh. Yeah, I think the oat one is probably going to work better than the... Wheat Bix one. Because the Wheat Bix one looks really wet. And then you want three tablespoons of sweetener. Right. I only just opened the sweetener, so it's already half gone. And biscuits. The reason I only had cinnamon sticks as well is because Asda didn't have ground cinnamon. And I don't have a means to grind. I can grind. I <laughs> just don't have a means to grind food. There we go. A bit light. And these ones won 20 minutes, 180. I think these are just going to be like baked coats, to be honest with you. Like oaty biscuits, oaty cookies. See, these are both very wet. I cannot knack this up. Maybe my eggs were too big. Maybe I'm just that dumb. Probably more like it. Right. See that. Wet. Biscuits aren't meant to be wet. I've made biscuits. I can make biscuit biscuits like cookies and stuff. And shortbread. Oh god, I love shortbread. I'm happy being back on Slimming World. I wish I didn't feel like this, but I feel more myself, just poorly. Right. I got half dressed as well. You've probably seen walking around still in my pajama bottoms, but I can't. Physically can't. Why does this not work for me? Am I really just that much of an awful cook? Ah, uh, see? It has. So I'm just going to leave the other one. There we go. That looks like dog sick. <laughs> yes. Right. Tray. This is a tray. All seen the tray. I shall use. I think that'll be big enough, don't you? Because it'll spread out like a normal biscuit. Should do. I think so. I need to stop getting the bare minimum of stuff, don't I? Like just looking at the little methods and going, oh yeah, now I'll figure that out. Try like. Otherwise, we'll just stick. I'm not going to put lots on because I don't want to fry them. Right. Yay! That does not look good in any way, shape or form. Get out. Maybe if I... When in doubt, use fingers. They made biscuits on... Uh, Great British paper. Yeah, that, that was last Wednesday. I've done other stuff since then. So I forgot. Um, I might try and stick with that vein, you know, like what they cook on there. Try and reproduce a Slimming World version. I don't know how many this is supposed to make. I think it's supposed to make six. I didn't write that down. Oh. It smells nice. It smells really gingery. 
these better not taste like egg. Everything at the moment for me, like the Slimming World stuff that I'm making, I don't know if it is because I feel so terrible, but it's all turning out because it doesn't seem to be like egg is one of the main ingredients in the recipes or the tweaks. It's like use 15,000 eggs and then pretend that it doesn't taste like eggs in your brain, which doesn't always work for me. I mean, I like egg. Ramble on about it, so. I'm glad you all found my uh, fireman story uh, amusing because I didn't at the time. Yeah, I do now, but, but back when it happened, oh god, I was mortified. It was the worst. I was like, it's like I was 21 at the time, but like someone said, that's something that will haunt me probably for the rest of my life. Like, I'll be there on my deathbed going, oh, fireman. He was just so. Oh, so embarrassing. But it would be, wouldn't it? I have lots of embarrassing stories like that from when I was younger as well. I was naked a lot of the time as a child. I don't know why. Just Right, that's that goop scooped. It doesn't it doesn't look like any biscuit uh biscuit recipe I've ever seen. Probably could have done the spacing them out a bit more. I don't know. I ain't got a clue. I ain't got a dicky bird. I don't know what's going on most of the time. I hope I'm better for way day on Saturday. Oh, God, I better be. How much raw egg? I'm just going to stick that in my mouth. Still don't fancy raw egg in my mouth. Not really. Right. Portioned off. You see, I don't know, am I supposed to spray the top of the fire? Probably not, probably not, probably not, probably not, probably not. How about you slide about? Right, ten minutes. Ten, I'm not going to stand here and talk for ten minutes, I'll pause it. It says five to ten. That's a very wide spectrum. Do it for seven and then check. Yeah, I'll do that. Like I said, with this cooker being all over shop anyway. Right. See, the old one's not thickening up. Why is that not thickening up? Right, let me go check and see someone's recipe who's done this proper because, you know, they're, they're not an idiot like me. <laughs> yep, I messed up. Milk was not supposed to go into the oat one. I don't know why I put it in. So now I've redone it, 35 grams of oats, egg, and we're going Bonville this time, so it's dark chocolate, which is fine, I like Bonville. So again, two scenes for the thing, so I'll uh, put a thing in the description, in just in case you're doing this along with me. Which I don't know why you would be. Always, always wait till the end to realise how much I've messed up before you attempt. Because. Oh, uh, yeah, sweet now. So this should work out better. One, two, three. Good, sorted, awesome. Now we're cooking with evil. There we go. Much better. Okay. Smells nice. I don't know because I smell the chocolate and the sweetener and then I go right with my bag afterwards. Right, yeah. So when they come out, I will pop over. I thought I paused it and then I didn't. Right, it's been 12 minutes because I checked on them after they were thing and they're still like the balls, so I flattened them down because it didn't look like they were going anywhere. So 12 minutes, that's what they look like. They still feel a bit pokey, like, but that probably blah, 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 that's probably going to harden up in it. I don't want to burn them. I don't want to really knacker it up. So I think we'll just stick with that. Plate. I hope they come off. 
No, they're not having any of it. Oh, there we go. There's one. They've stuck a little bit. Maybe I didn't use enough fry light. They smell really good. Like, really, really good. Really gingery. And I like ginger biscuits. They don't look too bad. They don't look brilliant. But like I said, I'm not the best cook in the world. So... I think what I'll do is I'll get these off, put the other ones in, see how that goes. Because, yeah, I've remade it. It looks like that now. Hard and gloopy. I don't know how many that's going to make because with the things not swelling up, I ain't got a clue. Yay! Right. Section them off into biscuit like shapes. I use my fingers because everything else would just stick into everything else. And I'm going to bang them in. These ones say. 20 minutes. There we go. I'm a mess. So these ones, they're not bad. They seem a little bouncy in the middle. I don't know. I'll wait till they cool properly. Because like last time when I tried the uh, the cake, it was better when it cooled down. Mine was still terrible, but the one that was made for me was lovely. It was really nice actually. I'd probably put my sweetener in it because I've got a sweet tooth. I want my bed. I feel horrible. Sorry, I thought I'd better. I've been saying I'm going to be doing this video for ages. I thought I'd better. And I wanted to. I did want to. I don't just want to lay about doing note all day. That's how I feel. But if I can drag my ass up when I was doing that last week, I can do some of that now. That's my oven going mental because it goes mental when it's cooking. Right, the ginger biscuits have cooled, the wheat mixed ginger biscuits, got a bit of coffee. They're still spongy. They're more like a cake, more like a cake texture. I'd have left them in for longer. But I went by what it said, I even went over by what it said. So let's give it a go. Yeah. Oh yeah. I can get behind them. Because if these are your healthy bees, my god, they're good. I put them in for longer. If you want in a biscuit, like a crunchy biscuit, I don't think you're going to get a crunchy biscuit from it, but they're like a really gooey cookie. And that ginger's lovely. It does say with the wheat mix one. Oh, the rest of them, they're so good. It just say with the wheat mix one to use the um, cinnamon. But I prefer them because it's like a like a ginger cake. What is it? Um, it's got a lion on it. And Dad, what's that ginger cake with lion on? Uh, Jamaican ginger. Jamaican ginger cake. That's what it's like. Cheers. Yeah. Well, I'd be good with some custard. <laughs> they are so good, and they give healthy bee. That's brilliant. Finally found something. Oh, they could be dangerous. I could, I could happily eat that entire plate. I put more ginger in as well. If I wanted a more biscuity texture, I'd put them on for, I'd put them in longer, or maybe on like, maybe two hundred instead of one eighty. They are good. They are really Moorish as well, because it's like a, a cookie gingerbread. I can't eat them because they're part of my healthy bee and I don't eat it. And you can't taste the egg. That's a win for me. They are good. You should all go and make these. They're fantastic. Yeah. we just got to wait for the other ones. Well, I can't eat them all because obviously this is two days healthy bee. So I can have three and a half of these. And three of them. And that's today's healthy bee. These are brilliant. Where have these been for the past year? Yes. Wheat mix? Who knew? So I didn't. 
What do you think of him, Grandad? I'm just having the Jamaican cupcake or whatever. Cookie. And it's gorgeous. They are good, yeah. aren't they? I recommend it. Yeah, thank you very much. Definitely. This is my granddad, everyone. You've all wanted to meet him. I hope. <laughs> Cheers for that. Bye. <laughs> Bye. The chocolate ones are ready and they'll smell deliciously chocolatey, like super, super chocolatey. So I'm really looking forward to these ones. Uh, yes, I'll get them out from them. Um, although I quite like them when the. Do they look lovely? I mean, they've caught around the edges a bit, but I like that crispiness. Yes. I think these have both turned out really well. I think so. Well, I don't know how these ones taste. <gasps> Look at that. Biscuit perfection. Paul Hollywood would be all over these biscuits. And at just two cents a piece. No, not a piece. For all of them. Two cents for the what? That's it. And if the taste is chocolate as a smell, oh, this would be a wonderful chocolate fix for me. And like with them options things, and I use the Cadbury ones, they're still two cents, they're all two cents. Uh, there's loads of different flavours. Yeah, they're all different flavours. Kind of want to eat these ones straight out like hot. That one's really burnt. But I like the crispiness. It's only that one that really caught. Yes. Yes. I'm, I'm feeling... Like I'm gonna pass out, but <laughs> now I'm feeling happy about these. These were the ones that were supposed to have the the ginger in originally, but I thought chocolate oats go much better. I probably would have liked some cinnamon in there, but it might have overpowered. Like if these are chocolate chocolatey, I'd be happy about that. Oh, cool. I'll try the burnt one. Now that is caught too much, but for crunchy, chocolatey, mm. these are both massive wins. I think I actually prefer the ginger spongy ones, but for actual biscuit. Alright, this one is burnt too much. There is only that one. Every other, every other one is fine. Yes. Loving them. Taste of chocolate. Do it down to here. Yeah. Taste of chocolate. Definite crunch to them. They'd be lovely with a cup of coffee on a night. Because it's always on the night when you want the munchies, isn't it? When you're watching a film or something. Right then. I hope you're all doing fantastically. I hope you're having a really good week. I hope you're all doing really well on Slimming World. And you're all feeling fantastic. And I will see you all soon. Very soon. Probably tomorrow, maybe. We'll have a chat. Just have a chat video. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, do. See you later, lovely. Bye.